User Interface and User Experience Best Practices for Game Development User Experience Animations and sounds are critical. Even if your gameplay loop is absolutely perfect, if it looks like your animations were made in 5 minutes, the entire game will be judged as such. Attack animations should be refined until perfection. A little muzzle flash for guns or a swoosh trail for melee weapons can go a long way in making combat feel better. Designing purposefully inaccurate weapons might not be a bad thing either, since it gives the player another factor to think about. User Experience We'll say it again. Satisfying combat is extremely important to a good action game. Sacrificing some realism is a good idea if it's for the sake of fun. If your guns or other weapons have projectiles that must travel, making them too sluggish can give combat a lackluster feel. If the player has to think too hard about predicting enemy movement, it can make the game needlessly complex for the common player to enjoy properly, unless that is a core attribute of a weapon such as a rocket launcher. User Experience Squash and Stretch Most of the time, it isn't noticed in animation, but the effect is used to show dynamic motion. Essentially, whenever an object is in motion, it should get a bit distorted and sync up with the nature of the movement. This effect can be applied to buttons as well as characters, objects, items, anything you'd make an animation for. 